<laughs> Juicy, how lovely to see you again. Hi, <laughs> nice to see you too. <laughs> and um, can you tell me about this, this beautiful piece that you've done this year? Okay, so this piece uh, is a bit of an inspiration, inspired by Celtic looks of a woman. Uh, because a couple of days ago I got my British citizenship, which took a long time and lots of money. So as a kind of celebration also, and I got my nails painted with the Union Jack mm -hmm. and uh, yes it was nice it was my first piece as a Brit official mm -hmm. uh, so yes I want to just I, I love like red hair not people but like the looks of red hair and light skin and so maybe because I'm from Sicily so people look a bit different so yeah so it's about a bit celebrate the Celtic kind of looks traditional maybe let's say because now things are changed and people change like um, people raise mix and stuff like that but mm. so far I'm pretty fascinated by the by this so yes it's a bit a little celebration hope looks good because uh, <laughs> you know this is how I imagine it to be yeah, it's lovely. And yeah. congratulations on British yeah. citizenship. I gather yes. that was quite quite hard work. Yeah, it was, it was. And so, yeah, so for uh, to support myself to get this citizenship, I work as a print designer, so I do textiles. So I was focused this year a bit more on that direction, which I believe is going to apply these shapes of that I learned from designing textile into my future artworks as a uh, street art pieces to so to get more intricate but yeah that's the future step i want to get into so hopefully next year that's gonna look the be the look but yeah right. and so what have you got coming up over the next 12 months that you're looking forward to uh christmas <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. Uh, yeah no just more like as winter comes i like to focus on pieces that i can do at home um focus more on oil painting so get more details like learn um better techniques to then develop better also on the walls so it's going to be more an inside job so yes more this kind of direction so yeah Pretty excited about that, really. Yeah. <laughs> yes, a bit more of my work and not just yeah. thinking about other stuff, um, documents or things like that. So, yeah. And overall, how's Cheltenham been for you this year? Oh, I love Cheltenham. Last year I loved it, even with the rain. And uh, it feels like more like a, a sized festival for the people, where you can just see people walking around. It's more relaxed, you know, like it's not too big and bit frightening you know and you know you got time to do your work and it's not pressure it's a support for us to be here i say and literally even financial so it's good that helps a lot when you are an artist so yeah very nice and um, one question that i'm asking women artists this year yeah. is do you feel that there's a different challenge for women street artists than for men, or is it the same? How is how is being a woman a, a woman street artist? You know, well, I think that in the past years, I say four or five years, I think that we, we are there. Like it's nice, and it's nice to like even work with the guys. Even like you know, my boyfriend is so you know. Even we get like, but you know, we have both like a space here and. It's just like, it's not any difference anymore. I don't know, this is how I feel, really. You know what I mean? It's just like, yeah, it's like c collaboration. It's nice to see everybody after in the pub, like yesterday. So it's very flexible. So it's nice. It doesn't need any more this whole, I think, your power thing. I think that it's like, but that's my opinion, <laughs> you know? So that's it, really. Yeah, that's okay. But I was going to paint a girl. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Just in case. <laughs> Excellent. Well, thank you so much and thank really look you. forward to seeing you next yeah. year. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thanks.